creating looks with affordable makeup. This is the bag that I received. Stay tuned to find out what I create, who I sent something to, what every single one of us creates. Just stay tuned to support us. That's pretty much it. I will see y'all in a bit. Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Well, today is the day for the Affordable Makeup Collab. And this is a collab that was started by Gloria from Southern Mom of Boys. And she came up with the idea of creating looks with makeup that almost anyone can afford. And what's affordable makeup, really? <laughs> to me, affordable makeup is makeup that you can purchase. And I know it sounds funny, but where you usually do your grocery shopping, uh, Walmart, Walgreens, uh, stores like that, that have other items, not just makeup. And that pretty much makes it affordable for many people. But let's go ahead and get into the collab itself. And if there are any questions regarding affordable makeup, just make sure to leave them down in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer what I can. And if I do not have the answer, I will either point you in the right direction or look it up. But let's go ahead and get in here. And this is the bag that I received. And I received mine from Lois, from Life with Lois's. And I sent mine to Andy from Andy Does Stuff. And both ladies are amazing. Both ladies create beautiful makeup. So... I will find out what I can create with what I received from Lois and hopefully Andy can do the same and I'm sure she can. Um, that woman does amazing, amazing, amazing makeup. Can't say it enough. But I'm going to go ahead and go down the list of the other eight ladies that are in the channel. I am number nine. And don't forget, giveaways. So pay attention. There may be secret words. And most of the information, if not all of the information regarding the giveaways, will be linked down below in the description box. Not only in my channel, but pretty much almost every channel. So let's go ahead and go down the list. And it is Lori Latimer from Lori Latimer's channel. And then we have Andy from Andy Does Stuff. We have Blessed GMP, who is Pat. We have Leanna Dalton. Gloria from Southern Mom of Boys. We have Beauty Beatdown. We have Life with Lois and Lisa Ann. And of course, myself, Beautifying MZ. This collab is super special for me because this is pretty much where most women start is purchasing makeup at Walmart. So let's go ahead and dive in, find out what Lois sent, and get started on the look. I'm going to try not to make it too long, but I will definitely really, really try hard. And I did remove most of the tape so that it wouldn't be so long, but I did not peek. So that I did not do. And she sent quite a bit of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here, Lois. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and we have... Catwoman, and this is an eyeliner pen. And I will not open any of it because I will be using, uh, if not everything, most of it. And then we'll go ahead and go from there. And then the next one in here, Harley Quinn, or Harley Quinn. <laughs> it's a palette. Um, and it says it's a shadow palette. Like I said, I'm not opening anything just yet. I will do that once I start applying the makeup. And there is a brightening mask from e.l.f. It says, like a halo for your face. Definitely something to look forward to. And we have a lippy from Revlon. And does it have a shade... It says it's a limited edition, so it's really cute. I like the packaging. Packaging is amazing. 
let's go ahead and keep going. And then we have mascara. You can't go wrong without mascara. And it's jet black and it's from Revolution. It says it grabs every lash, instant volume, and tapered brush. Definitely going to enjoy that. And see, there's one thing. I would never have thought Rev or not Rev Revolution would be affordable makeup, but it depends who's doing the affordable makeup, right? And there is a card, but I'm going to go ahead and save the card. I will read it in just a little bit. We have another lippy and they don't have the shades in here. Maybe underneath. And there are some numbers, but they are kind of blocked with the, the plastic, but I will definitely open them up. And then we have another Harley Quinn product. And this is a, it doesn't have a shade either, but I will definitely be using some of it or if not all of it, like I said. And then we have an eyebrow product. So see, I knew, don't do your eyebrows, don't do anything, because more than likely you're getting everything that's going to be needed for a full look. And for this one, we are looking at Winky Lux. It says that it is a universal eyebrow pencil. So definitely going to be using that. Then we have also from Revolution, it says Cherry Pie. And it says it's an eyeshadow. So another eyeshadow palette. Then we have last but not least in here is Give It To God. Lois... <laughs> It could not come at a better time. And it's a little note 10. So uh, it says she is clothed with strength and dignity and she laughs without fear of the future. Proverbs 31, 25. <laughs> fear is something that I'm actually trying to overcome. And I will be talking about that by Mask Monday and more than likely Mask Monday will come and go before this video does come up because we are scheduled to start the videos on the 27th and Mask Monday obviously is not going to be the 27th it's going to come sooner so you may have seen Mask Monday before you see this video just throwing it out there fear is one of the things that I am going to try and overcome but you'll hear about what that's about on Mask Monday so now let's go ahead and dive in. Um, now I'm going to start opening things. So first, actually, I'm going to do my eyebrows. And that is actually something that I, I'm going to have to do it off. So I will be right back. <laughs> I changed my mind. I am going to do the eyebrows on, <laughs> on camera. I may just do one and then kind of come back but just to give you guys how the pencil works but before I do let me go ahead and read the card and she always draws these really really cute flowers and it says I tried to stay under 25 sorry didn't work the extra are because you are my friend ah and if y'all have not seen my videos I always, always talk about Lois and Mary Catherine Loves Cats. These two ladies um, welcomed me into the YouTube world when I had been just coming on and they both made me just feel welcome and confident and it was just something about these two ladies. They will forever hold a very special place in my heart. So Lois the feeling is mutual. I absolutely love you. You're, you're just amazing. You're a really, really great friend. And it says, Mary, this is a very fun collab. I am so happy I got you. I hope this finds you well, your friend Lois. And yeah, okay. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I know I've been, my emotions have been all over the place and 
yeah but let's go ahead and get into the eyebrows because I do my eyebrows before the makeup so let me go ahead and or the eyeshadow so let me go ahead and get this done but I do use a small little mirror so uh, yeah wrong pencil I don't need the eyeliner I need the eyebrow <laughs> liner uh, but let's go ahead and get into that this is the shade not sure if it's coming through but it's a really light shade but I think I can make it work so let's go ahead and get started and I know I'm eyebrows are not my thing and the weird thing is that it's it's showing very light but it's coming out dark that's not a bad deal I like it and I don't spend too much time on my eyebrows I never have so and it applies really really nice it really does so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and if it starts taking too long I will go ahead and pause the video and continue because I do mess up my eyes or my eyebrows they very rarely come out looking the same I spend a lot of time on them and just trying to make them match sort of so now I will go ahead and go into my other mirror because now I can see what it looks like away from each other so if that makes any sense and I know my eyebrows are not the best ever and it does come with this pulley which is really really cool and I don't know I think that's as good as they're gonna get for now so I'm gonna go ahead and leave them alone and move on to the eyeshadows and I'm gonna show you both eyeshadows and then we'll go and see which one is the one that I'm going to be using and go from there and this is the first one and they're both from revolution which is and it's I heart revolution I love Re revolution and revolution is one of the what I consider to be really bougie eye, eyeshadow palettes um, they were one of the first uh, higher-end palettes that I purchased when I got back into makeup and this is this one and yeah purple 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 my absolute favorite color and then we're gonna go ahead and go into also from Revolution the Harley Quinn and believe it or not I haven't seen that movie with Harley Quinn I don't know what that's about but this is the palette and yeah look at that Lois purples 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 yeah I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this one <laughs> just saying but I need a mat first and I'm gonna go ahead and open both of them up and then go from there and again look it yeah this is the palette it's just right up my alley so definitely getting some use out of it but that wasn't the only thing that I did I also pre-selected my brushes and these are the brushes that I pre-selected these were given to me by my son and my daughter-in-law for Christmas and Walmart so definitely sticking with 
the affordable makeup type brushes as well. So here we go. And now let's go ahead and get into that, into the colors. And I have used them, so I just do my swatching or my cleansing. And I'm going to go into... Um, I'm going to use this one here and see what I can create. And it is fairly light, so it's not too bad. And that will just kind of set my my eye primer. And brushes, I don't use brushes for what it, they are supposed to be used. I do my own thing when it comes to brushes. And I usually tap the color first because of my wrinkly <laughs> eyelids. Uh, it just kind of makes sure that the color just kind of goes in there the way it's supposed to. And I am going to go into the outer corner and I usually do a very, or the darkest shade that I can use. Um, in this case, it's one of the purples. And I am going to use that one right there for the outer corner. And it's a really cute little palette. Looks like a little donut or pastry, which I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And for here, I'm just going to bring it in. I don't normally do the V thing because it doesn't work for me. It's just not something that works. I don't know why, but it I just go with whatever works with me. I'm still learning, so I'm still trying different things. And I just keep it on the outer corner, and and then I'll go ahead and kind of go in and clean it up at the end. So I do make a mess when I first do my makeup, so just putting it out there. And I do have my mirror right here. It's one of the mirrors that I often use. And I know it takes me a little bit of time, which is why I am hoping I do not make this video too, too long. So I'm just going to bring it in. There we go. Okay, and now I am going to use this shade here. And I'm just going to bring it in. And I do go a little higher on my crease because I do have hooded eyes, so. It works for me. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Just saying. So. It's a really pretty shade, actually. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Wet and Wild brush. And the shade that I am going to use is going to be... I'm going to keep it with the purples on my lids. But I'm going to go into that right on the entire lid. So, see what I get here. That's a really pretty color. And they're all shimmers, so that helps. 
And I know a lot of people say don't use shimmer if you have wrinkly eyes or mature hooded eyes. I've been doing it. It's just a matter of how you apply it. Sometimes it comes out for me, sometimes it doesn't. But definitely something that I do. And I know I make weird faces when I'm applying my makeup, so... I'm trying not to. Okay. There's the top of the eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up the bottom really quick. And I just use a wet wipe. That's pretty much all that I do. And I just clean it up. I don't like to use tape. Um, I just don't like tape on my face. So that's one of the reasons I don't use it. But let me go ahead and... I think that was pretty much it. Let me go ahead and get some other colors on the bottom. And here is... I am going to, I'm going to go bold. So I am going to be going in with, I'm going into the blues. So I'm going to go ahead and use that blue underneath the eyes. Just me. And it's with the wet and wild. Like I said, even my brushes are going to be uh, affordable makeup type brushes so and I know it's a little difficult for me to talk and apply makeup at the same time but I'm trying and it is a very very pigmented blue I do not see a lot of fallout uh, which is amazing it is a matte so just taking it out because I am going to clean it up afterwards. Now I am going to go in with this one here. I'm going to do that on the inner part of it. And it may or may not work. I'm not sure. Um, the brushes do have a lot to do with how makeup applies. I have found that out during the times of doing makeup. But here we go. And it's really not working very well for me. I am going to get even bolder because I'm going to go in with that pink. But for that one, I am going to go in with a smaller brush, also wet and wild. And for this, I am going to put the palette down because I need to be a lot more careful because I'm only doing it on the actual lash line. And I don't know. I just thought I would be wild and crazy today so that is what I'm going to do and I am getting very close to my lash line so it is causing my eyes to water a little bit And I think right along the lash line, it's actually turning it a little purple, but it has to do with the blue and the pink. But I like it. I actually like it. And now, let me just go ahead and use this brush here. And I'm just going to go ahead and sweep it off a little.
I think that's what I'm going to leave it at for now. I'm actually loving it. Lois, thank you. These are amazing, amazing colors. They perform beautifully. They actually do. Like I said, the mattes have very little fallout. Beautiful, beautiful palette. So let's go ahead and go in. And I was going to line my inner or my lash line. But I'm not going to. Instead, I... And I don't normally do eyeliner or liquid liner, but I'm going to today because that is what this collab is about. Going out of your comfort zone, doing what you would like to do outside of your comfort zone. So that's what I'm doing before I do so. And just to give it a little bit of time to settle in, I am going to apply my under eye primer and it just helps with, um, with my concealer and it is my elf absolutely love it it is one that i purchased that is very compatible or comparable to a higher end that i have but i'm almost out of it so i had to find something that was quite affordable and worked the same so i love this one a little goes a long way works beautifully and helps my concealer not crease as much so now i'm going to go ahead and go in it is a really really fine tip so i'm going to go ahead and get that done and again i don't normally do this so to do this I am having a hard time with this okay and on the eyeliner I don't do it to line my eye the shape of my eye I actually bring it out and I'm not sure if that's coming through and I bring it up a little because it does raise the eye a little at least on my eyes it does so let me go ahead and get the next one in here that's as much as I'm going to do with my eyeliner because if I continue with it, I'm going to mess it up. That's a, for, that's a given. That's a for sure. Like I said, I don't use liquid liner very often. I'm trying. I'm trying to use it a lot more, but still working on it. Now that I have my eyes done, I am going to go in with my Milani. And I'm not using the <laughs> brush that I normally use because obviously it is one of the higher end brushes, but I am going to use the sponge that comes in here. Never used it, so I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but still clean, still new, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So it's a first for me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see how that's gonna come out. That is what it does. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the other side. And now that I've got the foundation on, I'm going to go in probably with this pink right here, and I'm going to try and do the blush with it. I don't have a shade for this particular uh, look, but, and I'm not going to contour today. I'm trying to keep it pretty quick. So let's go ahead and see if this even works. So hopefully it does, and then we will move on from that. 
and it looks like it did. Just going pink. <laughs> I know it's out of the ordinary for me anyways, but I did not have any shades that would match this. So just improvising, definitely liking it. And I'm going in with the red, but because it is a Harley Quinn lip gloss, I am going to go ahead and top the lipstick with this and see what I can come up with. Hmm. It has a really, really, really nice scent. And of course, why not get it on my nose, right? Oh my. I like it, actually. It toned down the red, but I, I, I actually like it. I like it. Okay, now I am going to go ahead and hop off, do my eyelashes, and I will be right back. And I'm back. Mascara is done. Lost my train of thought. Mascara is done. I did a little bit of touch up and fixed the lipstick a little bit, but still left it the same color. I'm going to go ahead and go into the palettes first and I'm going to go ahead and swatch them. I did tell you I will swatch them. Once again, these are the shades and this is for the Revolution Harley Quinn palette. Beautiful, beautiful palette. There's the swatching for that palette. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you the other palette and I am going to go ahead and swatch this one but this one I'm going to do on camera it's only five shades beautiful beautiful palette as well and one more shade this one here those are the shades I hope they're coming through because it is a beautiful palette. There we go. Lois, you did amazing with the palettes. Absolutely love all of the shades. This is the look I was able to create. All of what I used today, every single bit down to the tools, the brushes, were affordable makeup style brushes. Those were the two palettes. Then we have the lip gloss. Also Revolution Harley Quinn. Then we have the Revlon lipsticks. And this is one of the shades. This is the shade Wine With Everything. And this is the Revolution Red. And then we have the Eyebrow Pencil which I did swatch earlier and I may have put the lipstick over it but that is what we're looking at worked really well with my eyebrows I'd have to say and then we have the eyeliner which really fine tip loved it absolutely loved it then we have I believe that was it for what Lois sent. Then we have the Wet n Wild brushes, which I used quite a few of them. I do use a lot of brushes when I do this. We have the mascara, and I didn't notice until I was putting it on, it has a Batman emblem. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's a Revolution mascara, and it is Makeup Revolution London. So definitely, great mascara. I do like what it did. That's what the creation it did with my eye eyelashes. 
absolutely love it. I did not have a contouring palette that was affordable, so I did not contour. I also did not have a shade to go with these eyelashes or eyelashes. I did not have a shade to go with the eye look, so I did use the palettes. And I use this pink right here. Absolutely love it. I think it came out okay. Not too bad. And then I used, of course, all of my brushes that, and I believe these are, um, I know it, it's a Moda brush. So these are Moda brushes. These were purchased at Walmart by my son and my daughter-in-law. So that was a gift from them to me on a Christmas. That is pretty much all that I used. Never mind. Milani, <laughs> down to the foundation. Every single thing that I used on my face was affordable makeup. Absolutely love the look that came out. Out of my comfort zone, a little bit, not too much. Um, especially when I went down underneath with a very bright blue and a pink. But I love it. I love how it all pulled together. Definitely something that I recommend. Go for the affordable makeup. And like I said, affordable does not necessarily mean that you go out to Walmart, Walgreens, whatever. From what I have learned today, <laughs> thanks to Lois, I have learned that affordable makeup just necessarily means that if you can afford it, if you can find it, even on sale, even if it is a name brand, if it is affordable to your pocketbook, then it's affordable makeup. Now that we've got the look out of the way, which I absolutely love. Thank you, Lois. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into the giveaway. And the giveaway, you must be publicly subscribed to all nine channels, mine included. You must have a U.S. and that's Continental U.S. address. Um, I do apologize to everyone outside of the United States. However, finance and restrictions keep me from doing uh, international giveaways. Then you also must be 18 years of age. That's an absolute no-brainer. But the giveaway itself will be something that is affordable makeup. And you will be able to create a look. I may include additional things, just like Lois did, um, which is a mask. And you will see this in a mask Monday because I had already masked um, earlier today. So I'm going to go ahead and include things that you may need for relaxing and then applying makeup and just to create a look. Hopefully we get to see that look. That is pretty much all that I have for now. I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, y'all stay safe, stay blessed, smile always. Bye.